Okay, another quick interruption. Look up here as we're reviewing. Somebody just did this in their head and was a little surprised that they did. What is 15% of 60? The answer is nine. So how can we do this in our head? First of all, what real life situation do we do this type of problem all the time with? Shopping. Uh, not specifically shopping. What's 15% commonly used for? <laughs> You're asking somebody who was raised by the people who lived through the depression. Oh, restaurant tipping, uh, right? 10% yeah. is like the restaurant was okay, but not great. 15% is standard. 20% was that was a great service I got. Isn't that what everyone has taught for restaurant tipping? And maybe it's changed it's, in different places or something. Yes, I'll let you know. So lots of people were are wanting to find 15% of something because they are looking at their restaurant bill. And they're going to round it. If it was like $58.75, then they would just round it to 60 because that's easier to do in their head. So this idea of 15% of a number that's friendly because I rounded it, I'm estimating, then that kind of thing happens all the time. So how can you do this and be fancy schmancy and not have to pull out your calculator on your phone? The first trick is to remember that 10% is 0.1, right? Rip lop two times. This we just talked about the formal name. It is one tenth because it's the tenths places. So, and a tenth, that's just like one decimal scoop, right? Divide by 10. So what is one tenth of 60? Then that's going to be six. And if I know what a tenth of something is, then I know a fifth of five, I'm sorry, if I know what 10% of something is, I 5% is half of that. If this is 10 out of 100, this is half as much, five out of 100. So for this one, I can then think half of six. So if you were trying to tip at a restaurant to get the 10%, not great service, just scoot the decimal point once. To get the 15%, you do that, take half of it to get the 5%, and then add them together. Six plus three is nine. If you wanted a 20% tip, you could take the 10%, one decimal point scoot, and then double it, 12 bucks. So those are the common tips you would use with the mental math tricks to make it easy. Estimate by rounding your restaurant bill to a nice number, scoot the decimal point once, and then use that, that plus half, or that doubled, to do your tipping. 